I'm Junaid Masood Laskar. This is a video abstract of the paper Part Light Tunable Light Beta Interaction in Magnetic Nanofluid Based Field Induced Photonic Crystal Glass Structure. The co authors in this paper are Baldev Raj and John Philip. A magnetic nanofluid is the dispersion of nano sized magnetic particles in a carrier liquid. In the absence of any external magnetic field, the nanoparticles inside the nanofluid undergo random Brownian motion. However, on applying external field, the nanoparticles self assemble and form chains and column like structures along the applied free direction when the induced dipolar interaction energy of the nanoparticles overcome their thermal energy. Now, ordering of these chains and columns result in different crystal structures depending on the sample path length. For very short path length of 10 micrometer, the crystal ordering is 2D hexagonal, which transforms to 3D hexagonal on increasing the sample path length to 500 micrometer, as known from the literature. On passing laser light through the nanofluid kept inside a quartz cubelet, and investigating the observed scattered pattern, we address two questions. First, how does the interaction of light with field in this crystal structure vary depending on the sample path length? Second, what is the crystal structure for the path length of 80 micrometer? Is it 2D hexagonal or 3D hexagonal? The longer path length of 1 millimeter, we observe a single corner like scattered ring with the laser spot on the ring circumference. However, for the shorter path length of 80 micrometer, we observe concentric diffraction rings with the laser spot at the ring center. Next, we demonstrate that the scattering from the cylindrical surface of the field induced chains and columns is the reason for the observation of single corner like ring for the longer path length of 1 mm. This is a demonstration of scattering from a cylindrical surface. I have used a wire and a laser pointer for this purpose. The scattering from a cylinder results in a conic section of the light. And if we take a cross section of the conic section, we observe the scattered pattern. If the incident angle is near to zero degree, the incident angle is the angle between the cylinder axis and the incident light. If it is zero degree, then we observe a circular scattered pattern on the screen. However, if we increase the angle, and if the angle is between zero degree and 45 degree, then we observe an ellipse. This is the ellipse. And if we increase the angle to 90 degree, we observe a straight line. Dependence of the shape of scattered single corner ring on the angle between incident light and the applied field direction confirms the scattering from cylindrical surface of chains and columns. For the short path length of 80 micrometer, the condition for temporal coherence among the scattered lights from chains and columns is satisfied. Therefore, the scattered lights are able to undergo constructive interference resulting in the formation of concentric diffraction rings. Analysis of concentric diffraction ring pattern confirms 3D crystal ordering of the field induced columns for the path length of 80 micrometer. Since the field strength is moderate, 300 Gauss, the columns at the crystal lattice vertices undergo thermal fluctuation which introduces crystal disorder of cause type. The disorder and the polycrystallinity result in the formation of broad diffraction rings with speckles. This study, besides demonstrating a non-contact 3D crystal ordering, also opens up the possibility of simultaneously harnessing and tuning both the degree of order and disorder with regard to light pattern interaction.